Hey everyone, we're back with the next instalment of what's involved with owning a St. Bernard. Uh, in this video, I'm going to just be showing you guys uh, the growth of a St. Bernard and how quickly they do actually grow and get big. And obviously the thing you've got to remember with these dogs is it's not so much as just the size that they get to and how quickly they get to that size. It's also the fact that with that size, they still have a puppy mentality. And along with that comes a much more uh, unintentional, destructive nature. So we're going to look at some of the video clips, some with sound, some with me speaking over them. And hopefully it gives you an idea of what to expect. So I hope you enjoy. And uh, here we go. Horse is enjoying her lamb light. She's not quite sure what to do with it at first. She thought it was a bit of wood. She's been playing with it. Is that nice? Nom 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 nom. <laughs> So a little background on uh, Horsa, she was born on the 10th of May 2017 um, and so as a uh, as the purpose of this video is just to show you guys how quickly the Saints grow um, and believe me this is necessary as I've heard too many occasions of people getting these dogs and then giving them up as they can't cope with their size combined with their puppy mentality uh, and this can last for a good couple of years before they settle down um, obviously as you can see in the video um, this was from the 4th of August so she's already a few months old and you can already see her size is that of a a small dog's full size or the thing is as well following on from that is that when you look at these pictures in these videos you can see how easy it would be for you to just become completely and utterly attached to the puppy version of these dogs which it's great and that the puppy stage is fantastic with how they look uh, but it should never be the be all and end all of you going out and, and, and purchasing one because the thing is, is the last thing that anyone wants to see is any dogs end up in care due to the fact that they can't no longer be looked after. And it's not necessarily always fault of the person buying these dogs. It's It's the fact that they don't have all the information there to make that kind of decision. Uh, so that's the purpose of these videos is just to try and show you um, a, a real life owner rather than, oh, here's the pros, here's the cons, here's this, here's that. They have this kind of possible treatment required by vets. It's more just a showing you someone actually living the life of looking after one of these dogs and it is so much just having another person living with you because of their sheer size and you know you look in here and how playful she is in the snow and she's like that anyway um here in this part of the video you're gonna see that um she is literally about to smother my my partner with her size and this was all within her being seven months old and there we go she's disappeared so you can see that we're well under a year old and she's already that big that she can completely make my partner disappear underneath her so this is why we should consider these things before before getting these dogs and then obviously Lulu come along uh, on the 10th of December this was I believe we've been playing um, and then you've got the other side of it which was good because she was 
now sort of more of a mothering figure, even though they're playing loads. She did teach Lulu things to not do and everything else. And it was a great companion for her. But again, Lulu is a crossbreed and she's still very, very big as well. And it was the same kind of thing. The, the growth progressed very quickly and she was up to size in no time at all, which you will see further along in the videos. So just quickly guys, while you're watching the rest of these clips, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you. Uh, those that have subscribed recently, those of you that have liked and watched these videos, um, it's given me the motivation to make more content and uh, I hope you're all enjoying the clips and, and believe me, it really, really does help because the more that you like the videos, the more that you watch them, the more that they're suggested to other people. And of course, I just want to try and help people make informed decisions, maybe make someone come choose these dogs or not choose these dogs for the reasons that I outline. Um, you know, I, I've got a number of videos in the pipeline that I'm, I'm going to try and get made, including uh, a meet and greet with Horser and Lulu, finally meeting uh, the lovely St. Bernard puppy, uh, Odie. Uh, so please bear with me uh, while I find the time to make them. Um, but that one should be within the next couple of weeks, hopefully, and um, hopefully that will be something that you guys really enjoy Hello, seeing the, the comparison between Puppy and Full Size St. Bernard. Um, also, if you guys have any suggestions at all on how to make the videos better or something you want me to cover in a future video, please leave a comment uh, down below and I will do what I can to cover it for you. Uh, as always, keep liking the videos as it really does help. Share with your friends, share with your family. And yeah, I really look forward to seeing you in the next videos. So thank you very much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Everyone look after yourselves. Take care. And from all of us here, much love. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.